Yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I have no problem with the substance of this item. However, on my second read through today, I became concerned about the completeness or whether it's going to be insufficient in some way. Um, the conservation easement deed here on attachment A, page 2, uh, item E at the top of the page, it references a number of previous agreements, amendments, and plans. But I, I didn't find any real clear reference to uh, any description of the property being encumbered, uh, parcel number or anything of that sort. And I'm concerned as well, uh, it doesn't, this document doesn't list the transfer of interest through conveyance and it also doesn't uh, spell out the limits of the easement. It appears to be pretty wide open. So um, I'm looking for reassurance that, uh, that these items have been well taken care of. On the, one technical, on the one technical thing, if you look at the first paragraph, it says it attached to Exhibit A. Mm -hmm. Exhibit A is, in fact, the legal description of the property involved. Is the precise, is there, there's no parcel number? That, that will be the parcel, that, that will be the legal description that will be attached. Okay, it will be added a. later? Yes, the document, you don't have Exhibit A, but it will be the legal description that will be recorded with the document. Okay, okay, yeah. so that will be added. Uh, second thing is the transfer of interest uh, through conveyance. Yes. Hi, my name is Alice Loy with Parks and Recreation Department, and your question on the transfer of interest through conveyance is? Yeah. It, well, it's a little bit vague, or at least it seemed to be to me. Usually these things are spelled out very clearly. The city will be the easement holder and the homeowners association will continue to be the underlying property owner. The city is responsible for making sure that the property is maintained and managed in perpetuity. Does that answer your question? Well, well somewhat. It, um, the other thing is uh, the, uh, the limits of the easement. Mm -hmm. Um, the physical limits? Right. I mean, we, we received no map for this. There are different jurisdictional right. boundaries involved. If it's not clear, and, and I'm a little bit concerned if it were challenged in the future, that by not having spelled it out clearly that there could be an issue. The um, limits of the easement are within the city of Fullerton, and the legal description will be specific as to what those limits are. It's not going to be in the form of a map that you can see it would be in the form of a legal description that a surveyor could use, which is more accurate but not as easy to read. So we can add, I have Susan Lindquist here from um, Centex, former Centex, who oh, can sure. also answer some questions and make sure that we can get this information to you. So we can add a, a picture of the map in addition to the legal description, if that would be helpful. Well, I think so. I think what you're telling me is some things are going to be added later that I didn't have the benefit of. Just the legal description. Right. But if you would like, we can also add a physical map. Well, the only other issue to me would be syntax would be the party that would be most interested in, in having this be complete and thorough as well. So as long as uh, it meets with their agreement, certainly. Susan? 